The Ministry of Finance, Budget and Economic Planning has presented to the Federal Executive Council the phase three of the project's lighthouse, which has to do with the Digital Infrastructure for Voluntary Assets Declaration Schemes. He needs to enhance the debt recovery strategy initiative, sustainable long-term gains for the government, and build on additional capabilities in the debt recovery system. Minister of State for Finance, Budget and National Planning, Clement Agba, hinted this while briefing State House correspondents as part of the resolutions reached at the Federal Executive Council meeting. The uh, aim of this uh, project, uh, Lighthouse Phase 3, is to enhance the debt recovery strategy and initiatives, uh, sustainable long-term gains for the government, building on uh, additional capabilities in the system and ensure that reliable data sets are mined, generated, and aggregated through interagency uh, collaboration. The update on the Project Lighthouse uh, application is on the debt recovery module uh, the corporate profiling engine as a government gateway, and then the Project Lighthouse website, federal government revenue performance management module and capacity uh, building. FEC also approved two major memoranda from the Ministry of Works and Housing on the uptake by the private sector in response to the tax credit program, which was initiated in 2019 through the signing of the Executive Order 7. Works and Housing Minister Babatunde Fashola said this program allows the private sector to finance public infrastructure in using tax credit. Four major critical roads were today awarded with a total contract sum of over 170 billion naira in Taraba, Kebi and Niger states under the tax credit scheme. It's one of those policy initiatives is the tax credit policy which was signed as an executive order in 2019. Now we're in 2022, and what you will see now is that the appetite for private sector investment is increasing to fund infrastructure. We can see offtake by the Dangote Group on major roads like the Lekki Seaport Road, the Papalanto Road, uh, the Kaduna uh, uh, Western Bypass, and uh, one or two other roads now that I can't recall from memory that they are going to construct using the tax credit scheme. They've already been approved. Also today, FEC approved the award of contracts for the establishment and deployment of the Advanced Reports Generation Utility Engine in a total sum of 553 million naira. This technology is to aid the operations of the Accident Investigation Bureau to be able to develop advanced report generation in the aviation sector. This uh, technology is going to aid the Accident Investigation Bureau to be able to establish and develop uh, you know, the advanced uh, reports generation you know, system. Uh, this uh, system has tremendous uh, benefits to both authorities and the recipients of uh, the information. Meanwhile, the Executive Council has approved the National Agricultural Technology Innovative Policy as presented by the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development. This is to create better synergy and alignment with the ministries, departments and agencies to overcome inadequate coordination. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.